Do we get to go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't let me on t shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Out of there. Oh, thank you. Generosity. In a cup. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Megabytes. My name is Dazzling Daz. My name is Bombastic Ben. Indeed it is. Our theme for Megabytes this year is Step Out, Step Up. So we're looking at loads of different New Testament characters who have stepped out in faith and stepped up to God's calling on their life. Isn't that right, Ben? Oh, it is. Indeed it is. Well, tell us who the talk is on today. The talk today is on Zacchaeus. Interesting. Nice. And what's on the rest of today's episode, Ben? Oh, oh we have a lot on this episode. And good stuff, is it? Oh, maybe. maybe. Let me just check my notes. Okay. We've got games. We've got drama. Drama. We we've got, got talks. Talks. We've got interviews. Interviews. And we've got our final segment, pie and prayer. Pie and prayer. I wonder who's going to get pie today. Perfect. But is there someone they need to spot in today's episode and every other episode? Oh, there Megabytes. is. Who? Well, his name is Benjamin Patterson. And he looks like this. Oh. Or this. Or... This. Indeed he does. Oh, he does. But Ben, what do they need today before anything happens? So if you go grab yourself a Bible and maybe a pen and paper or something to take notes, that would be super. Perfect. We'll, we'll wait. <laughs> Cracking they got the Bible, Jeff? I don't know. And we keep waiting? Yeah. You got your Bibles, don't you? Cool. Right, Ben, will you pray before we get the ball rolling? I will indeed. Lord, thank you so much for this first day of Megabytes. I hope that we have, or pray that we have a fantastic day of fun um, and learning, Lord. And I pray that you will keep us all safe as we watch. In your name, amen. Amen. Oh, flip. Can, but ben, there's something on, on, the, on, on the lens of that camera. Will you go check it out? I'll go get it. It looks like there could be a massive piece of, piece of dirt on it. Good morning and welcome to Megabytes Games with me, your host, Isaac. Today I'm going to be joined by two very special guests. Number one, <laughs> whoa, what is your name? I'm Deepak. And give me your move. Sick. And number two, whoa, what's your name? LMA. Oh, and what's your move? Class, all right. First game today, I need a bit of assistance. Thank you, stranger. Number one. Today's game is called Too Many Shirts with my guests, LMA and Deepak. The rules for this game are simple. Each competitor has a bowl of words. On their turn, they are going to read out one word. It will be nonsense. The other person will need to guess what the word is. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Great, wonderful. The twist, oh, twist. Wow! Okay, the twist is that when you are guessing, you will need to be putting on a t-shirt, okay? This is why the game is called Too Many Shirts, because eventually, I don't think you're going to fit those t-shirts, are you? No. No, I didn't think so. All right. So, without further ado, let's go! Whole Imp Pig Ames. Um, Olympic Games. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Okay. You start putting on a shirt. Ach wrist muck herald. Ach wrist muck herald. Ach wrist. Ach wrist. You can skip one if you want. Ach wrist muss er carol. A Christmas carol. Yes. Nothing. Nose. Nose ring sat hatched. No strings attached. Oh. Someone's very good at this. Elas Taggle. Elas Tag Curl. Elas Elastigirl. Yeah. Yes. Next. Sagkias. <laughs> That's really it. Sagkias. <laughs> um. 
Sag Kias. Sag Kias. Sag Kias. Us. Think maybe. Bible. Yeah, maybe it's. Oh, uh, Zacchaeus. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. How are we doing for time? 144. 144 left. Um, Abe and an appeal. Abe and appeal. <laughs> A banana peel. Yeah. Yes. Good job. How okay. are we feeling? Feeling tight? Yeah. Yeah, pretty too. Yeah, of lions too quarrel. Of lions quarrel. <laughs> of lions quarrel. Yeah. No, the whole. <laughs> of lions quarrel. <laughs> uh, of lions quarrel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. I think you might have more so far, but. Um, kept in name America. Captain America. Yes. Please. Okay, off we go. One minute. I think you're known one minute. Known sayer. <laughs> known sayer. Known sayer. Known sayer. Known sayer. We're both <laughs> putting on t-shirts. It's all kicking off. <laughs> no. No sayer. <laughs> no, no sayer. No sayer. Excellent. How long that? Um, okay. 40 boot, seconds. Boot tie and tubbies. Boot tie and tub east. Boot tie and tub east. Boot tie and a beast. Beauty and a beast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good seconds. job. 30 seconds left. Megab Heights. Megab Megab Heights. Megab Heights. Megab Heights. Megab Heights. Megab Heights. Excellent. <laughs> Next. Ah. Flying. Okay. Flying. Um, my dad's got a car. <laughs> <laughs> my. My dad's got a car. <laughs> Come on, Alame, you got this. My Ten da, seconds. My dad's got a car. Nine. My dad got a car. <laughs> what? Very close, very close. That was it? Five. Madagascar. Four. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two. Oh, one. I think we're done. done. Are we done? Yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's find out uh -huh. who the winner was. Deepak, how many shirts did you have? I had six shirts You on. had six shirts. LMA, how many Not shirts did you have? I had five shirts Five on. shirts, but the person with the least amount of shirts <laughs> is actually the winner. So, LMA, <laughs> you are the winner. That means, Deepak, you are going to be pied later on today. <laughs> That's all we have for today. Well, nice to see you. Anuma, 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 Anuma. Uh, see you very next time. Oh, no. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, I've been kind of bored without the SU camps this summer. Especially SISM. I miss everything, like the beaches and the groups, and especially the badges. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? So weird not having SISM and all the SU camps. Um, but we could try to recreate some of them. Maybe go to the beach, um, or find some badges, or maybe make our own. That could be kind of fun too. That's such a good idea, but it kind of feels like it'd be hard to do on my own. Yeah, that, that's true. We could always just try to find some friends to do it with us. That could be fun. That's true. Okay, bye. See you later. See you later. Ah, time for a cup of tea. Tea bag? Um, thank you. Uh, who are you? I'm Whimsy, and I make the badges for SISM every year. But this year, I am out of a job. You look like you'd help me in my quest then. I was going to look for the badges. Oh, absolutely I can. Your first badge will be out there. Whimsy out. Hey guys, I'm actually looking for badges. Would you guys be able to help me out? Oh, we're also looking for badges, but we only help out people that are wearing red. We're the red gang. Okay, that's a bit weird, but I suppose I could go get something red. You can should. You I'm back and I found a red shirt. Can you help me now? Do we say red shirt? I meant we'd help you out if you were wearing sunglasses. But you're not wearing any sunglasses. Oh. Okay, well, you guys seem like you really don't want to help me. Um, I hope you guys find your badges, but I'm going to go look alone. Bye. Hi, Whimsy. Hey. I looked all day and the badge gang wouldn't help me and I couldn't find the badge anywhere. Oh, but you know what was important? You pursued, even though that badge gang were mean. So for that, you get this pursuit badge. Thank you so much, Whimsy. You're welcome. See you soon.
Hey everybody, welcome to the Megabytes. So today we're going to be looking at our first talk and we're going to be doing a series of talks on stepping up and stepping out where we're looking at old uh, New Testament characters who have been in situations where they have um, proven themselves and uh, looked towards God in, in trying times. So I want to start off with a question. Have you guys ever felt nervous or shy around people? You probably have been because everyone feels that way sometimes. When I was in school, I felt that way all the time. I just tried to avoid any interactions with people that I didn't really know, and I'd only talk to a couple of friends because I was so worried about what people would think of me that I just didn't even try making friends in the first place. So today we're going to be looking at a story so, sort of similar to that. I'm looking at a character who also struggled with attracting attention from other people. So that story is Zacchaeus, and it's found in Luke 19, chapters, or chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there and his name was Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and a wealthy man. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was so short, he couldn't see over the crowds. So he ran ahead and he climbed a sycamore tree, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he, said, he looked up and he said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down and at once was welcomed. All the people said, saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be a guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said, look, look, Lord, here now I give half of my possessions to the poor and anyone I've treated, or cheated, I will pay back four times as much. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is the son of Abraham. For the son of man has came to save and seek the lost. So back in Jesus' time, if you wanted to share a message that you had, you couldn't just set up a YouTube channel, or you couldn't set up a Twitter account, you couldn't even print a book to share with people. The most common way of sharing a message was to travel around different towns and talk to people like that. And so that's what Jesus did. So as Jesus got more popular, people in the towns that he was about to arrive in would start to talk to about him before he got there. And they'd get really excited about what he might say to them. And so Zacchaeus was one of these people that heard people spreading rumors about Jesus, about hearing about a man who could raise the dead, heal the sick, and turn your life around. And so when Zacchaeus heard these things, he decided that he needed to see this man. But Zacchaeus was a little bit like me when I was in school. He spent his days avoiding people's attention. But unlike me, Zacchaeus was well known around his town, but he was known for all the wrong reasons. You see, Zacchaeus was a tax collector for the Roman Empire. And people didn't really like the Romans. And they didn't like giving them money. And they definitely didn't like the people that were taking the money off them. Because oftentimes, the tax collectors would also take a little bit extra for themselves. And so when Zacchaeus heard that this man was coming to Jericho, who could raise the dead to life, heal the sick, and change your life around, he thought it might be worth going out into the crowds, regardless of what attention it might draw to him, or what, the, what names people might call him. And it didn't stop there because when Zacchaeus reached the crowds around Jesus, they were so big that he couldn't even see him. And so he decided to climb a tree. And when people saw Zacchaeus climbing a tree, it wouldn't be like you or me climbing a tree. Because Zacchaeus was a businessman. It would almost be like a big lawyer from a big city in a fancy suit climbing a tree. Everyone would be watching him, regardless of if they recognized him or not. So up in the tree, there was no hope of Zacchaeus avoiding people's attention. Everyone was looking at him now and a lot of people were probably looking on at him angrily. But it was all worth it. Pursuing Jesus was worth it, regardless of what other people thought of him. And it paid off because when he was up in the tree, Jesus saw him and saw him for who he was and for what he wanted. And he invited him down and he ate with him. And because of Zacchaeus' actions, it changed his life forever. Just like how Backpack Ella didn't let what other people thought of her get in the way of her finding her first badge, Zacchaeus didn't let what other people thought of him get in the way of him pursuing Jesus. He stepped out and away from his nervousness and fear to, and to find Jesus. And it's the same for us. What Jesus has for us is worth far more than what other people think of us. All we have to do is step up to the challenge.
welcome to today's segment of Burning, Burning Questions. questions. <laughs> Today I'll be your host. My name is Sarah, and I'll be joined by the amazing Ella May. We are going to get to know Ella May a little bit better today. And um, when I ask you a question, you're going to have to then press the buzzer. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so Ella May, a very serious question. Would you rather have toes as fingers or fingers as toes? Disgusting! Fingers as toes. Why? Because you could like climb trees. Be okay. like a monkey. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, okay, next question. Would you rather drink a whole bottle of ketchup or a whole bottle of mayonnaise? Oh, this is a hard one. Probably mayo. I think ketchup would be a bit like sweet or something Sick, yeah or something. sickly mm, yeah <laughs> not a good choice then <laughs> <laughs> <Not it. laughs> okay i love it um okay what is your favorite joke why are leopards so bad at hide and seek why because they're always spotted <laughs> 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 Such a good joke. Right. <laughs> Has anyone else got any good jokes at home? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> okay, and one last um, very serious question. Um, if you could travel to any country in the world right now, where would you go? Probably Italy. Italy. Bit of sun. It's a bit cloudy. It's a bit cloudy today. Yeah. Bit of sun, go to the beach. Yeah. Go to Italy. Go to the beach. Oh. That sounds amazing. Um, after today's amazing talk by Ben Shanahan on Zacchaeus and um, facing peer pressure and fitting in, um, I have just a, a little question, a couple of questions for you, Alame. Yeah. Um, has there been a time where you have felt peer pressure um, and especially in ways to fit in? I suppose that I don't always feel peer pressure in one moment, um, one big moment, but I find that often when I'm trying to talk about my faith or even just tell people, Oh, I went to church on the weekend or oh I'm going to a Christian camp I find that peer pressure sets in and I don't want to tell them because I think maybe they'll react badly to it so I suppose that's how I feel the peer pressure most of the time yeah okay great and um, has there been like an example of a time where you have felt like you could step up and step out from that kind of peer pressure yeah, so I suppose when I was younger, I used to go to camps when I was growing up, uh, Christian camps, and often I'd tell people, oh, I'm going to a camp for a week, and they'd ask what I was doing, and I'd say, oh, you do loads of cool stuff, you go climbing walls and everything like that, but I wouldn't tell them about the God side of camp, which is the most important part. So then it would kind of come out, and they would find out slowly, and it would just be a bit awkward. But after a while, I thought, this isn't the way to do it. So I prayed a bit about it um, over a period of time. And I asked God for help. And I was able to step up and step out and tell people when they asked me, oh, what were you doing this weekend? Or what are you doing over Easter or summer? And I'd be able to go, oh, I went to church. Or, oh, I went to this Christian camp. So yeah. OK, yeah. And you find that, that was easier to then just say yeah. what you were, what we, you know, being kind of I suppose just telling people about your faith. And, yeah, definitely. Um, and how do you find your faith or your Christian community kind of helps you um, every day? I think that the ways that they help me is that I get to talk to other Christians who are my age um, and as well as older Christians who can advise me um, about problems I face as a Christian day to day or um, I can ask for prayer or I can just get support and I can be open about my faith. So I suppose that's the ways in which the Christian community can help. That's amazing. Okay, thanks so much, Ella May. You're welcome. It was great to talk to you today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to our segment called Pie and Prayer. First time in this segment, Deepak and I will be having a game of rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Whoever loses gets pied in the face. Then the other person prays to close our day. Deepak, are you ready? Mm -hmm. So ready. Are you ready? Cool. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Day. So I get to pie you. Here we go. Get, get a little close up of that. Deep breath in. Oh. 
I get back and feed in. You, right. you just stay there and we'll pray to close. Uh, Lord, thank you so much uh, for everything we've gone through today. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the word that Brem brought today um, in regards of Zacchaeus. Um, and Lord, just pray that you help us to step out in faith and step up to the calling you've given us for our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tune in next week or tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Anuma, 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 Anuma. Uh, See you very next time. Oh no.